Uh, today we're making braised pumpkin and um, uh, the Farsi name for it is kadu and I call it America's favorite Afghan food because everyone who tries the uh, sweet and savory flavor just falls in love with it and it's one of the most popular dishes that are served at Afghan restaurants. So yep, we're here at corner of Taravel and 15th. I think it's 15th. 16th, Taravel and 16th. Parkside Farmer's Market, my favorite. I use squash, not pumpkin, because now it's May and there is no pumpkin, but people still want to eat the kadu dish. Uh, so we'll just pick something that's a good medium size, not too, not too big. Something like this. This will be uh, make enough side dish for four to six people. I always get my pita bread here, which we'll be using to eat the kadu. Oh yeah, so it says Afghan. <laughs> Okay, people, Wait, let me take this is Afghani flatbread. There's no such thing as Afghani. It's <laughs> Afghan. Afghani is the currency. Afghan is the people and the food. <laughs> We're gonna need plain yogurt, garlic, but this is a turmeric sadaf brand. I really like their products. So here we go. We're all set. So here are all the ingredients for our dish today. Four tomatoes chopped up, three tablespoons of olive oil, four garlic diced, three tablespoons of brown sugar, and two teaspoons of turmeric. And we also have, of course, our squash, substituting instead of pumpkin, and also one cup of organic um, vegetable broth. So we're gonna start out by uh, making the tomato sauce first. Um, I'll be adding the three tablespoons of olive oil. Let this heat up a little bit. And then we're going to add the turmeric. Now I'm adding the brown sugar and the garlic. And see how what a beautiful color it makes. And this is what is going to give the kadu dish a nice yellow color to it. And now I'm going to add the diced tomatoes. And I love having all my ingredients cut up and prepared ahead of time so then there's no worry about forgetting. It's going to take get a very um, creamy um, orange hue to it and that's when it's ready to be added to the squash. So we're going to let the um, tomatoes caramelize and kind of absorb all the flavors. In the meantime, um, I'm going to show you how to cut a squash. First of all, make sure that you have a very sharp knife and you cut the end to help you sort of stabilize it. And then I just take a potato peeler. Some people swear by microwaving their squash first. I don't like that. I feel like it makes the squash a little um, soft and mushy. It gets a little slippery at the end. So you just have to be very like steady ready to be chopped up. You can just scoop out the seeds. You can cut the squash in any shape you want. Some people like cubes, some people like large round, like full pieces. My sister Nabila loves that. The squash is ready to go. Add it straight to the pan where I have the broth. 
and we're going to let that cook a little bit and soften. And in the meantime, we're gonna check on our tomato, which is really coming together nicely. See how it's beautiful, it's turning a little orange. And one of the things that you may wanna do is check on your squash every few minutes. If you open it and all the liquid has dried up, I would add a little bit more. We can see that our um, squash has been steaming and is ready for the tomato uh, where most of the liquid has dried out. It has nice and smooth texture. So I'm going to take this over and add it to the squash, kind of spreading it around. How long has it been cooking for? The tomato was cooking for around 15 minutes. The squash was steaming. And I see that I need a tiny bit more liquid in the bottom. There you go. Spread this out a little bit. You don't wanna move it around too much, otherwise then the squash gets all um, mushy and cut up. So we're going to cover this and leave it at a pretty low temperature so it continues uh, cooking slowly. We don't want the bottom to burn. And while this is cooking, probably for around five to 10 minutes, I'm going to be preparing the yogurt sauce that is going to go over the squash when I'm ready to serve it. We're going to take a cup of yogurt, roughly. Add a half teaspoon of dried ground garlic. And I like things salty and with the squash, because it has a sweet flavor, um, I love having the yogurt be salty because it's really the only salt that you will be adding to this dish. We didn't add any salt to um, while we were cooking the squash. Mix it up, make it nice and smooth. And it can be just plain yogurt or Greek yogurt if you like um, to be a little bit more tangy. So this is all ready to go. I like to add the yogurt, the bottom of the dish, serving dish. Our kadu dish looks Great, it's ready to go, to be served. So from the beginning until now, uh, it basically took us around 30 minutes to make this dish, delicious vegetarian dish with beautiful flavors. I like how it's a little browned at the bottom. Yogurt sauce. Drizzle it on top. I like serving it with warm pita bread. And here we are. Mm -hmm.